Hi, my name is Dan Ariely and my bubble has to do with poverty. So we think that uh, poor people often make bad decisions and of course they do. But the question is why? And you might think that they make bad decisions because they don't know how to make good decisions. Maybe this is the reason they got into poverty to start with. But imagine the life of the poor. Their lives actually have incredible amount of constraints. Think about something as simple as packing. If you have a big suitcase, and you need to pack a little bit more, you just put things in. And if you need to take things out, you can take things out. And if something changes, you can easily pack more, pack less. But what if you don't have a big suitcase? You have a very small suitcase. To start with, you don't have a place to put everything you want into the suitcase. And on top of that, every time you need to change something, things have to move around. You have to take things out, you have to take things in. Life is very, very complex. This is a good analogy for the financial life of the poor. It's constrained, not everything fits, and every decision is complex. So imagine what would happen if every decision you made was consequential. If you bought a sandwich, you can't take the bus. If you take the bus, you can't buy water. It turns out when you take people, even wealthy people, and you put them into a situation where every one of their decisions is consequential, they basically get depleted. They, get, they lose the ability to make good decisions and as they make more and more of these decisions they get worse and worse and worse in terms of making good decisions. So when we think about poverty, one of the things we need to think about is the difficulty of poor people in making decisions and how do we help them make good decisions and how we reduce the temptations they have to make bad decisions. So my proposal is that we need to think differently about poverty and we need to think about poverty in terms of not just the individuals, but their environment, the constrained choices that they make and the difficulty of those choices. And if we can make their choice life better, we might make their financial lives better as well.